Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Sarah Bunny. First, I'd like to say happy 4th of July. Um, so this is a holiday only celebrated in America, obviously. It's a Independence Day. But, you know, happy 4th of July. Anyways, so, um, yeah. I'm going to be doing a cage tour today, just as like a little special. So, let's begin. So I'm going to start with the changes in the area around her cage and above her cage. So let's get started over here. So over here we have the sign Caution Rabbits at Play. I'm not sure if this was in my last cage tour, but it's a sign I made. And I think it's really cute. <laughs> and down here I just keep her pellets and her hay now. Um, because it's a lot easier to not have it up there. Because you have to bring it down and then get everything out. It's just easier for it to be there. Um, up along the cross, the top, I have jars where I keep her treats now. So, yeah, I have just two empty ones here, too. And, um, I have her name here. Then, also, over here, I did something new, which is really cool, I think. Um, that's just covering my name. Um, so, yeah, this is my little sign that says Sarah Bunny, and I think it's really cute. So, I basically use the same letters. That were in the rosy cage, just the leftover ones. And I forget. One of the, um, I forget what it was. The R is not actually an R, it was like an M or something. So, um, so yeah. So, like, but I think it looks like an R, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I just put flowers around it and it matches my room and stuff. And then I have her, a mini dustpan and broom here just for like quick cleanups. Um, so yeah. And also, I'd like to mention, I did clean out Rosie yesterday. So, also over here, I did add a bin in my flexi tub um, to keep her dirty fleeces in. And this vacuum thing, that should actually be in the garage. Um, so, yeah, that just, like, matches my room, so I thought I'd put it there because it's, like, more useful there than in my closet. Oh, and also her pen, I started putting behind here instead of around her cage. Because it's just easier to, like, get it far enough out and then she can play for a little bit. Or play for two hours, at least. And then I can put her back in. So this whole area is basically bunny-proof. There's nothing in it. She just goes from about here to here. And I'm not really sure how long it is. Um, but with the cage, it's pr really big. So, yeah. And sometimes she'll get full my full room. Just, um, it's not bunny proofed over there. Sorry, my room's a mess. Um, so that's why she doesn't get it all the time. So yeah, let's begin with the actual cage. The cage is a three level, 48 inch bunny abode. And so it has three levels obviously. And then it has these ramps go up. So we're gonna start on the top level. The hinges look like this and basically just put them in and pull them out. So they're pretty easy to use. I haven't had any problems with any of the hinges except on the second level. So the top level over here we just have this tile. That's where the ramp comes up. The tile is for her to lay on on hot days. We have this new toy that I got. It's like a little cube. It's all natural. It's got a little ball in here. Our, um, my new toy which is a not nibbler. I have a spare water bottle. Where, a spare water bowl up here in case she ever did run out just in case then we have baby links that go across it because I think they look cute over here we have her um, fleece for a soft spot to just sit on and then she can also sit on top of her walk up barn and inside of it has fleece too then over here we have her um, sports garland by the naturals range boredom breakers and she has recently started chewing on it a lot more than she ever did before. And I got that from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. So that is the top level. The second level of her cage. As I said, I had to um, dog leash clip it. I actually undid them for the video so I didn't have to spend time doing that. So here we have her ramp to go up to the third. Originally there was like felt here. Um, that's why it looks nasty, but it's just felt. But I cut it out just in case it had the old rabbit scent because we did get this used for $150. Um, so 
yeah it goes up and it hinges up so if you ever needed to separate your rabbits and you have this cage this would be a great way to do it um on there we just have a corn husk and raffia toy which she has started to chew at um we have this little wreath i got at the dollar store um they're a really great buy and they're untreated so i'd recommend going over there and getting one if you can i have this bowl which is actually a parrot bowl but it hangs on the cage so it's a lot better for her to um not knock it all around then we have this um hearts bird toy from walmart we have two of these planet petco little tubes and this little cat jingly toy from Walmart. Over here, we have just another tile. This one serves two purposes. Again, she can lay on it if it's cool, but also if she makes a mess with her water or her veggies, she it will only go on this tile and then I can just sweep it up real quick rather than it spreading to the rest of the cage. Um, one of her water bowls is empty, so I'll do that in a second. And then this bowl, bowl is um, filled, but yeah, so that's where the second lamp comes up, and this also under here doubles as a hidey house. So that's so now we move on to the first level, where the, where the door opens in the same way as the third. And this is the level Rosie's on most of her time, um, in her cage anyways. So she has her ramp coming down there. She has um, a little loofah with these fruity chutes in it that she can toss around and chew. She's taken a little bit of noticing to these. Um, she has a jingly ball that's from the dollar store. <sighs> you want to play now, huh? Hi, see, I want to get out of this cage. I want to have playtime, but we already had it, and we're going to have it later, too. So, um, We have this tile here that keeps the litter box in place, and again, she can lay on it. We have a rabbit amaze ball back in the back. Um, but it's actually made for cats, but it's the same thing as the Petco one, Rabbit Amazable. Um, this is the Large Kebab by Super Pet. Goodness, you're a pushy bun. <laughs> then I have this bird toy. I'm not sure the brand or anything, but I just know I got it on sale for $3, and it's really cute, so I got it. Back here, we have this bowl that clips on. Um, I use that if I'm going to give her Dandelion Delight which is like an herb mix. If I give her that, I'll use that bowl most of the time. And um, if I give her hay cubes, I put them in there so they all the extras just falls on the litter box. Then she has her bedding. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to move the hay. She just snorted at me. Well then, okay. So her bedding is Aspen. Um, I'm drying it out. I don't know if I like it very much though because um, it like gets all over the cage which is kind of annoying to me I think it'd be a better substrate for like hamsters um gerbils that kind of thing probably not gerbils they like to burrow um but yeah she's got her KT Timothy hay which is okay but I plan to order some more small pet select so and then she's got her large stair light litter box which I got for 350 at Walmart so yeah, so that is the first level. So I hope you liked this cage. Um, I will put the link to the place where you can buy cages that are exactly the same as these down in the description. So make sure you go check that out. It's called Leith Petworks. I'll show you the logo right now. So originally when I put this together, I put this in the back, which it's supposed to be in the front, but it doesn't matter to me actually. Um, and the cage stands up, so whatever. Um, so it's just a bunny abode by Leaf Petworks. So you just go to leafpetworks.com. It's a little logo. So yeah. And I have two dog leash clips here, just spares there. She doesn't touch them, so I don't care. Alright, so that is Rosie's cage. I really hope you enjoy. I hope you are inspired to do some things maybe with your rabbit's cage. Um Please make sure you comment you like this video and you hit that subscribe button. I dare you. Um, happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, and keep hopping.